Hello everyone, this is Ted Knock from Blades and Blasters and I'm coming to you with a new character creation tutorial from a system that we have played and run several times called Shadow of the Demon Lord uh, by Schwab Entertainment. Uh, Shadow of the Demon Lord is a D20 system and uh, not as your typical D20 as in uh, D&D but uh, has some similarities uh, so we would like to give you a character creation tutorial for Shadow of the Demon Lord which can be interesting at, uh, as you go up in levels but uh, as all our character creation tutorials we like to give people knowledge that uh, they might need to help them if they have any questions or need a kind of a more step-by-step uh, -step approach from someone actually uh, you know walking them through it so let's get started So here I have a character sheet, and uh, this is Shega. Shega is going to be an orc. Um, the way Shadow of the Demon Lord works is there is uh, Ancestries, is what you start out with. And Ancestries builds your base statistics. And Ancestries uh, do uh, change based on, uh, do change your stats based on which one you take. Uh, this is essentially would be races and other systems, but um, they're called Ancestries here. So I'm going to fill in the statistics for an orc. Um, and then I'll explain a couple things as I do it. So. Uh, the four main attributes are strength, intellect, will, and agility. And then there's some sub-attributes uh, derived from those perception and health uh, and also defense, actually. So uh, so for a uh, orc, they get perception plus, as perception is intellect plus one. And uh, their defense is their agility score, so the agility score is... 10 so the defense would be 10 and uh, healing rate uh, that's not important right now uh, health is your strength score so their strength is 11 so their health would be 11 as well um, what you know from the character sheet that shows um, this is the, your uh, modifier to all rolls out of that um, attribute so if you're rolling a strength and you have plus one you get plus one to your roll if you're running intellect and uh, you have a nine so you have a minus one so it's minus one to your roll and uh, the big thing is your target number for just rolls is always a 10 so you go into uh, you know uh, a plus one or a minus one versus a 10 um, uh, versus, you know, in combat, you have they have an actual defense score, which is just depends on many things. Um, okay, um, so uh, I know that uh, also a speed is a twelve for an orc. This is all in the orc, um, the orc uh, entry, so you should all be able to just look at that, write this stuff down. Um, they have a size of one. Uh, that would be, you know, if necessary to put that somewhere. Um, their ancestry, we'll just type in orc here. Uh, their languages, they start with common and dark speech. Uh, the next thing you do after you filled in all these uh, attributes is look to see if they have any special talents um, that sort of thing extra professions which we'll talk about later so orcs do have a talent and it's uh, shadow sight um, so shadow sight um, yeah that's exactly what you think it is you can see in the dark okay so that's that's all for that um, all right so we move on to professions so each character gets two professions uh, right out the gate um, you can create professions you can um, use some of the professions that are listed in the book uh, there are lots um, so and professions what they do mainly is um, not only do they give you some background uh, for role play, but uh, a GM may decide that you have a profession that might assist you in some task, and so that would maybe give you a boon in your role. And boons are basically uh, 1d6s you can add to your role, and then um, a bane is a 1d6 you subtract from your role. 
And if you have multiple moons or banes, you take the best, or the highest, I guess, is the best way to say it. So if you have a bane and you, you have two banes, you roll 2d6, one's a 6, one's a 4, you take the 6. If you have a boon, two boons and one's a 1, uh, you roll 1 and one's a 3, you take the 3. So uh, you always take the highest on that. Um, so for this character, uh, this is a pre-gen for a project that Earl of Fife is coming out with, and it is called Forever Winter, as you can see some of the art here for Forever Winter. Forever Winter is a Shadow of the Demon Lord community content project, uh, 70 pages plus of uh, adventure modules uh, and other goodies. Uh, anyway, so this is a pre-gen. Uh, right now he's level zero, just doing the ancestry. Uh, you can have level zero characters. They just don't have the novice path attached to them, which we'll talk about later. Um, so this person has two professions. We're going to do bandit and hunter. Okay. Uh, so they have two things there, uh, which is... Uh, not not a bad thing um, okay uh, then after your professions uh, when you choose in there there are other things you can do um, which are optional um, this is rolling for interesting tables like do you have like an interesting weird thing that you have do you have um, you know what's your personality traits if you want to help the to have the dice help you decide you can roll on those tables and that's directly after that um, one thing you can do as well is roll on for starting equipment. Basically, you roll on a table and it tells you how much stuff you have. How, you know how wealthy are you, um, and uh, then you can, you know, uh, based on if you're uh, destitute, poor, getting by, comfortable, or wealthy, you add uh, those equipment, uh, those equipment pieces to your character. Um, so I'm not going to do that because this character has a very specific layout and all that stuff, but. Um, moving on. So after professions, really, if you're a level zero character, that's it. Um, there's not really much more to it. Um, so, but that's the very bare minimum. Usually, the way it works, uh, I've seen in games, the first session, usually you're level zero, and after that, you get bumped to level one, and you go from there. Okay, um, so at this point, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate this. So I have a level 0 version and a level 1 version. Uh, so bear with me. Uh, there is a copy. So we'll do this. This is going to be the level 1 version of Shega. Uh, let's just do this. Level 1. Alright, so now I have the level 1 version that we're going to make. So once you start taking levels, um, there's things called paths. And it's no novice path, expert path master path and as you start your path is more broad um, and then as you keep going it narrows um, so it's very possible to take like a warrior for your novice path and then on your expert path you could say um, you could take um, oracle or paladin or sorcerer you can mix them any way you see fit um, so that's a very interesting way of kind of multi-classing as you get uh, more powerful. Um, so we'll just do a level one uh, where she's going to be a warrior. Um, so she takes the warrior novice path. Um, a as you kind of sta start, it's like um, it's a little bit uh, the same, right? There's not really any differences too much between, you know, any warriors at level one or level two. You really, really based on your starting attributes and kind of that sort of thing. Um, but as you go up, there it changes wildly. Another thing is shows the Demon Lord is only supposed to run 10 sessions for a campaign-ish. Um, so uh, it's supposed to be very fast, breakneck kind of things going wrong and you um, you taking care of it. It's not really, your character is not built to really last forever. So you level quickly too. So. Um, that, that's what I've uh, heard uh, how other people run it so uh, let's talk about the warrior finally um, so warrior is a novice path and if you look at the warrior it's on page 58 for those who are looking at the PDF which you should be um, and uh, so you can bump things you want so I'm gonna bump this person to 11 agility and actually 10 intellect okay 
And I know perception goes up one off intellect. Uh, that will make defense go up one for her. Whoops. Wrong button. 11. All right. So that's the first thing. You increase two attributes by one. Uh, health goes up by five. So that would put her at 16. And then you get languages or professions, and professions actually. Uh, in this one you add one common martial or wilderness profession. Uh, so we can look at that real quick and see what that is. Um, if we want to take one of the ones from the book. Uh, so if we do, and I look at uh, some profession that makes sense for this character. Um, let's give them a... Boy, uh, it could be a lot, right? Um, slave. Uh, slave works perfectly for this character because they were a slave. So, um, like I say, professions can help you or even hurt you potentially um, in the future. Uh, but mostly they're used to give you boons and situational things where your o past occupation might apply. Uh, so, almost done. This is very simple. Um, we go back to the path, the warrior path. Um, and so, those are the things. The next thing is the warrior gets two different uh, talents. Uh, there are a lot of talents in this game. It can be kind of difficult to track as you get uh, higher up in level, I've noticed. Um, but they get, uh, at level 1, they get Catch Your Breath, which is a way to get hit points back in certain situations. And then they also get... Um, Quick dad. And they get weapon training, which gives them a boon on any attack they make with a weapon. So that's it. Um, that is it for uh, a level one Shadow of the Demon Lord uh, character. Um, pretty simple, right? Um, as you get more levels, uh, your options become greater. Um, so if you would like me to do a expert path character or even a um, master path character I can do that as well uh, but for now I wanted to show you the basics of a shadow of the demon lord character and this is really it um, you find this is a, like a simplified system a bit from some others but it really does do the job and it has this if you really look into the mechanics more and what there is it's a lot of mechanics for corruption and insanity and really the dark gritty fantasy uh, that is so popular these days um, and step your more high fantasy with D&D &D. Um, just I suggest if you're new to this system and you're interested this is how you create characters fairly fairly easy as you can see um, but really dive into the descriptions of the monsters the spells uh, the corruption the insanity effects all that stuff and it's really a treat um, and this is a good system and I would recommend it um, otherwise um, I can do a system tutorial if people uh, comment here and say they would enjoy such a thing I can do that um, the one thing I do want to comment as now we're kind of done with the character creation um earl of fife will be doing a modular adventure for shadow of the demon lord which should be coming out in about a month and so if you're interested in shadow of the demon lord and you want a lot of content an extreme amount of content for any sort of winter's grasp uh shadow of the demon lord which is basically a winter apocalypse over the land um Earl of Five has, has you covered. Uh, Forever Winter will have five uh, medium to large uh, adventure modules. They can all be matched together in different ways, or they can be used as one-shots or to supplement your own campaigns, anything like that. Uh, it'll have, uh, I believe, five uh, smaller um, encounters i would say there a lot of them are based on uh travel in the winter and what you might find and that sort of thing and there'll be a bestiary uh, with new monsters uh and t uh, and templates for shadow of the demon lord as well it's it's got a lot of original art in it and the people at earl of fife have really 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 put a lot of time and writing and money actually into bringing this to everyone and we're hoping that everybody um will enjoy it and so um look for um 
forever winner for Shadow of the Demon Lord, coming in about a month, like I said. Uh, for more updates, please go to FifeGames.com, and uh, there you can read more about it. Uh, so I do appreciate it, and uh, this is a character creation tutorial for Shadow of the Demon Lord. I hope it was helpful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to comment in the video, or come to the Blades and Blasters fan, come fan club page. We have several people, uh, very, very knowledgeable about Shadows of Demon Lord, would love to help you. So thank you so much, and uh, I'll see you next time.